So we're born to fight. And then we die. Over and over and over. I can hardly believe it. But it was Ethel, without a doubt. This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? It's so small. It's a little person. It's so teensy tiny, but it moves. Much rejoicing! Uh, it's okay to touch her. Uh, gently now. She's so warm. Place one finger. In her palm. Try it too. Oh. Whoa, you're right. Mimi, it's incredible. L let me have a turn. What? <laughs> This is incredible, Senna. <laughs> Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. All right then, lads and lasses. Who wants to know how babies are made? 
This is how it should be. This is human nature. We are born defenseless, grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together, age, then return to the earth. Thank you. I mean it. Monica, what was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Ro... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. You'll understand too someday. Or it might be that you already do. Tyon, look. Hmm. It looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... Well, don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, 
they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the Queen's, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving, it took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the Queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real Queens. Yes, real Queens! I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Hmm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And your opinion, your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old, they're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too. Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years, you kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids, and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before? They're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders... It lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, 
part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so... precious. There's been a change in colony relations. Man, I think I need some time to process all this. Yeah. Quite a weight to carry. Absorbing all this in one go.